It is 1945 in the middle of World War II, when one of the worst animal attack in human history would happen. This event would be known as the Ramri Island Massacre. It started with the Operation Matador, when the British Army launched an attack on Japanese stronghold situated in Ramri Island. The attack would start by naval bombardment of several dreadnought battleships led by HMS Queen Elizabeth, firing 69 rounds of 2,000-pound shells onto the islands with the purpose of crippling the Japanese garrison defense. They were also supported by Royal Air Force by bombing and strafing the beaches and maintaining aerial superiority. When the ground assault team finally arrived, the British Indian infantry advanced their attack towards the Japanese base. The Japanese army resisted and fought with great effort, but the British forces strategically maneuvered and flanked the stronghold. Realizing this, the Japanese decided to abandon the base, and around 900 Japanese soldiers escaped. However, the British Army have already encircled the area blocking all exit points. With their strong sense of never surrendering to their enemies, the Japanese soldiers were left with only two options. Die in battle, or cross over nine miles of mangrove swamps infested with crocodiles. With the overwhelming pressure of the battle and being surrounded at all sides, they decided to risk the swamps in hopes of rejoining with their forces in the mainland. Soon after entering the swamp, the Japanese soldiers began to succumb to dehydration, starvation, and to the injuries sustained from the battle. On top of that, the swamp also harbors disease-carrying mosquitoes, scorpions, and venomous snakes that also picked off some of the troops one by one. But the worst of it happened at night when the crocodiles started to attack them. These were not your ordinary crocodiles. These are saltwater crocodiles, the largest of crocodile species that can measure over 20 feet in length and has been documented to prey on humans. Furthermore, they were apparently hungry due to the fact that the soldiers stationed on the island were hunting and eating their prey, leaving the crocodiles with less food supply. The injured and weakened soldiers were usually eaten first, as they lag behind the group. But as they go deeper into the swamps, more crocodiles would emerge, and more soldiers would get devoured. They fought the crocodiles by shooting them, but the overwhelming numbers of reptilian beasts was too much. During the nights, British soldiers that were surrounding the swamps would hear scattered gunshots and desperate screaming of men dismembered by huge reptiles. To avoid getting eaten, some Japanese soldiers climbed trees, but to those who weren't able to climb, ended up in the jaws of the hungry crocs, dragging them into the water to drown, before doing the notorious death rolls. This horrifying feeding frenzy would last for days, and continued as the Japanese soldiers traversed the swamp. In the end, out of the 900 soldiers that entered the swamps, only about 500 managed to come out alive, and 20 of them were captured by the British forces.